shit, what's up, people? It's your boy Lama D. You know what it is? I'm making out with Fabs Magazine. They ain't nothing like it. Keep it locked down. First of all, go down low. Hello, everybody, and we're back. We're back. Did I, you miss us? I bet they did. They, they should have. They, should they have. would have. Anyway, I hope you guys are okay. As usual, my name is Nadi Wadi. I'm Tej Makai. And we're here to talk about the masquerade ball that happened at Linton College in Milai. Yeah. So, how did you think about the ball? Well, the masquerade ball was interesting. Very interesting, I might say as well. It was a program that was packed with lots of stuff to, uh, you know, to entertain us, and everybody got all dressed up. I was very, very impressed, and I can say thumbs up to you girls. You know, you girls were all dressed up very marvelously. It was all glitz and glamour and beautiful. The guys, let me not talk about the guys. <laughs> the guys, well. You tried. You're still stepping they it up. They did try. They said they didn't try at all. Them guys were on top. I must say, the last time I talked about how guys should, you know, come up, but you guys impressed me. I Definitely. like what I saw. We loved how they looked. Um, we had a few people also who were uh, a few highlights of people who were out there looking for a bit of entertainment. Yeah, but, but before that, what do you think? Like, to me, I. I was impressed because it's Africans and it's yeah. a bull. They had you guys had the mask on and they had the gowns and the you know the stuff. So, in your point of view, I'm glad that everybody actually stuck to the theme. I didn't I didn't expect people to come <laughs> to come dressed up the way they did. I did especially with the guys. I thought the guys were not gonna actually put the masks on, but I would say 90% 90 to 95% of the guys actually followed suit and wore the masks. So that is really great. Everybody cooperated, supported. I don't know, what do you think? I think it was top notch. Like, it was top notch. That was just, I'm impressed and I'm amazed by it, you know. So the fact that you guys took time, because I think they took time to go shopping, they took time with how they look, they took time to how they're gonna, you know, approach the girls because people had yes. like, you know, couples and stuff. So I think that they had like, you know, the guys had some guts to ask the girls to the ball. It's beautiful, that's the whole point of a exactly. ball. So you approach your lady, you know, give her a flower or something, whatever it is that guys do these days. Exactly. And invite her to the ball and it, they really stuck to the theme and I thought it was beautiful. I thought that was really, really beautiful. And the unveiling of yes. the masks as well. Yeah, the unveiling of the mask. That was nice. But with the whole event, what would you see? How would you scale them? Um, for the whole event, I uh, would give them a seven because they were a bit, uh, yeah, they She's were tough this time. No, not like me. Yes, we're switching roles. Yeah. So it's my turn. Um, because there were a few hiccups um, along the way. I mean, I, I'm sure you noticed as well with a mix-up of names in the program yeah, and stuff and like It was that. a bit jumbled up when it comes to the entertainment because people were, you know, like there was the fashion show, yet other people are just walking, you know. Yeah, walking across. Awesome. Like, I believe that there was no manners at that yeah, point. Yeah, no and they, they needed to be a bit more control. Yes. Um, and also with the, with the order of the program, there were a couple of mix-ups there yes. um, one group was named after another group and yeah. stuff like that but they handled as well they, they, they redeemed they did, themselves they and yeah, I would she's up. saying seven I'll give you guys an 8.5 because that was really good thumbs up for that but I'm still gonna stick to my seven no it's problem. gonna be a seven I'm not gonna change what about mind. the what's this called the when they had the food what do you think of that having a ball in the same time having food there well, to you what do you think do you think it's a good idea I'm a girl that likes her food, so I'm going to say that that was a good idea because come on, imagine for something that started at 8pm, finished around 12 or 1, and you haven't had a bite to eat. But come at on. the same time, we are looking glamorous, they were looking glamorous. You have food, whether it's curry, there is rice, there is this, I mean putting that in a plate and then trying to eat it, that's a no-no. Just be, be careful with your know. food then. Be careful. Value your clothes and be careful with it's your food. It's a bowl. Oh, I it's love a my bowl. Time. It's uh, a bowl. It's, it's a bowl. It's dinner time. And no, I beg to differ. It's a bowl. Manners are there. Food and everything has to be kept aside. You would bring finger licking, something like 
sausages. But that was like food, you know, proper food. Yeah, that's so that could stain. That could stain. Okay, it's good. It's a good idea. Yeah, it is. But for a bowl. So I guess for future reference, we would suggest maybe finger food, cocktail sausages, something like that. Then she won't spoil her dress. But thank you for feeding me, the organizers of Masquerade Ball. She the loves food her was food. delicious. She loves her food. It was on point. Doesn't eat <laughs> when I look good. Not at all. What else was there? Uh, oh, there was the fashion show, the Bollywood. Yes. It was a Bollywood theme. It was nice, but they were confused. Oh. And they were not dressed. So why would you say they were confused? Because like this, there was this part where the, there were some couples walking, and then the girls, you know, just stepped at, like you know two steps. Okay. And then she like did that, and then she went back, and then she walked again with the guys. So kind of brought up some. I liked, um, it was entertaining, I liked that the Bollywood theme, the Abbott's uh, fashion show, um, their, their theme was the whole Bollywood, they had the girls, not being all the same and, yeah, not it was an all couple, yes. yeah, no, they were not all dressed as Bollywood. They had the some had westernized clothes. Oh, that's the confusion. That's the confusing part. But um, it was entertaining because I noticed when when we went around mingling, asking people what's your favorite part, they want the crowd over. I guess it's all the dancing and the singing and all that, and encouraging their students. Yes, very students. encouraging. But it took away the whole point of a fashion show because we weren't really looking at what they were wearing anymore. We were looking at how they were dancing. So, but still, it was entertaining. I'll, I'll give you an eight for that. I think they had two like dancers. There were two groups. One group was amazingly amazing. You can see they were fabulous in their steps. They were doing the right things. But the other group didn't seem very confident. Oh, I remember the groups. Oh, the ones that closed the show, the ones that were oh wow, they were um, they were very good. They were amazing. They had everything on point. They it, it it almost reminds me of that movie. There's a movie that just came out recently, Step Up Three, um, where they had the mob thing going. Oh, don't get them up there, but they were, that they good. were somewhere. They knew. They knew they what they they knew this. They knew this to the other group. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. I mean, yes, they knew what they were doing, but not but on that level. Yeah, but comparing to the other group, compared to the other group, were, you were good. Yeah, the other group, there was one short guy. He was the entertaining one. He really was into it. I mean, yeah. he was into it. He was, you know, pushing his his crew members, crew yeah. crew members, yeah. you know. And but the others were a bit shy and a bit stiff. And, yeah. But still, you know, it takes a lot of guts to stand up and do something. It does, like it that. does. So really well does. done, well done. Honestly, well done. So but for the dance, enough about the dance. I mean, well, how would you rate them though, both groups? On the, the dance, I would rate them five. Five on my five scale, I would give you five. I don't know what I'm five gonna give. Five. I'll go for a six. Five. Just to be nice. I'm gonna go. To for justify six. myself, even when you're dancing. Your clothes need to coordinate, so I'll give them five. Yeah, there was no, there was no coordination. There was no coordination, so I'll give you five. But enough about the dance. What about the way the people were dressed? Didn't some people catch your attention? Oh, some oh, you yeah. individuals, both girls and guys. There was a princess. <laughs> there was I decided princess. to call her the princess with her big dress. You know, it was all pink and flowy and nice. She looked very nice. She looked pretty. What about you? Then there was this guy. He was tall with an afro. Oh, the afro guy. Yes. Uh, he was the dressed well. Vinny. The, the, Vinny is it? Yeah, Vinny. Vinny. The blazer and the scarf. Yeah, with the, did he have a bow tie this time? Yes. I think that's his signature. He always wears a bow tie and the afro. Um, he looked very nice. He looked, he looked nice. very nice. Though I didn't see him in a mask. He I saw him in sunglasses. He had shades on. I think that's the new swag. <laughs> Instead of a mask. That's his new mask. Okay, he was he looked great. Uh, who else? Oh, the girl that was on uh, uh, the organizing team, Walia. 
she sets the bar high. Yeah, she had the gloves and everything. Her her mask was she matching her like gold, gold and black dress. Yeah. You know how the short in the front and, and low at the, the back. back. So uh, yeah, she set the bar high. She looked great. So her, I am gonna give her a nine out of ten, definitely, because she definitely looked fabulous. She she took everything the way it should have been. Yeah, that I would agree with her. I'll give yeah. her a nine too. That is but there were these two girls. One was in a pink, really nice pink simple dress. I don't know if it was silk or something. And the other one was in a green one. Oh, the two girls! The two girls. Yeah. You girls looked amazingly. It was nice. like their makeup as well. The makeup, your mask, yeah. the dress, and the guy who was stand like walking with you guys at the same time. Yeah, that was he really fit. Nice. You he guys fit. fit, and I love that. I love that too. And there was oh, there was the girl with the turquoise dress. I think her name was Maureen. She was also part of the organizing team. She was simple, simple, very so simple, simple and, and very elegant. Very elegant. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I love yeah, that. We love that. that too. So, uh, you, you know, to be fabulous, you don't have to go all overboard. Yeah. You can just be simple and elegant. Simplicity and, is yeah, it, it, it still works. So it works. still works. So, so I'm happy about that. Um, there was also the AAVA, the yeah, fashion school. Yes. They had their very creative and colorful. Yeah, the plastics, mean, and the other garments they used, right? Yeah, they used um, the other girl, she used the African material. Yes, and she uh, did well. It was quite colorful. Her models looked great and we loved that. Yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting. Different, very yeah, different. Very neat. Yeah. Um, her stuff, you can actually wear it every day. Yeah. That's what I loved about that. So it went from creative and flamboyant to stuff that you can wear every day, but still suitable for the runway. So we liked her for that. And the plastics too were good. I mean, for scientific, experimental kind of themes. Yeah, science. Yeah, science, science, scientific. Yeah, so it was nice it. and interesting. And now the big one that's coming up. Awesome! Awesome Awards 2012. I am, I am excited. At the have, you got, have you got yourself all kitted up? I'm almost there. Are you sure? Almost oh, because there. I'm ready. She's ready. I'm she so has ready. I'm so she ready for it. She's very ready. So, uh, ladies, uh, ha, ha, ha. bring it. Bring it on, guys. I am going to focus on the guys mostly. I am going to be keeping my eye on the ladies. So let's see what you guys have. So the red carpet is rolling out and you all better be ready for it because we are definitely going to be watching. And we're going to be on fire. Both of us, we are bringing it on. So you guys better bring on double of what we're going to bring. So, ladies and gents, there you have it. Another edition of Fab Scale. We've scaled you up. Now we're getting ready for ASAM. And you better be ready for it too. Because we will be watching you. We're watching. <laughs>